Would um, you would you see yourself living that kind of life? If if the rules are kept to an absolute minimum, as Scripture provides, you talk about your Ten Commandments, love your neighbor as yourself, um, uh, general ethical rules like that, I, I see no problem with that. I, I, don't, I don't think my life differs very much from that. Um, but when but having to utter numerous prayers three times a day um, and in, uh, which are prescribed, um, I, I find that off-putting. Eventually, and and you you cannot retain the enthusiasm that, that that you feel for this when you first read it. Eventually, it be, it has to become stale and and habitual if you say the same thing every day. And and this is probably why you see the people at the synagogues nodding and swaying and gesticulating because they are in a rhythm. They like they are like machines. A, ma a machine um, with wheels on it to, goes round and round and up and down in, in 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 a mechanical manner. And because they are uttering their prayers in a mechanical manner, they 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 are uh, influenced by this, mm -hmm. and it, and it actually becomes required. So. So, the, so as I've said before, they go to a room where they nod, sway, and pray, and gesticulate, and jabber, and jabber, and then they come out and feel they've done their duty, and and for and that for this they will they will receive rewards in the next world. They're not they're not even being indoctrinated. If they were being indoctrinated, at least they would pay attention to what they're saying, and if they paid attention to what they're saying, for instance, on the in, during the Sabbath. If they would say things, if they would pay attention to the prayer, the Chaha Gudula, the Hagavura, then they then they would not call men Gudulim, <laughs> because because they because they were ascribing greatness to God only. Therefore, it, it it it's a misappropriation of greatness to ascribe this to any to anybody or anything else. So to describe men, so to 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 say in one sentence that God that that that. God is the only entity to, to which greatness may be ascribed, and then to, to just use the very same word and to, uh, uh, with reference to, to rabbis is, is, is indicate, doesn't indicate hypocrisy because a hypocrite knows that he's doing wrong. It indicates that these people are just uttering words mechanically because they're told these are the, the phrases that they must utter. The same thing applies to, with, with, with the Hagbaha, where they point to the Torah and say, Vazotas or Ra, Ashe Samor Sheh, that this is the Torah. If this is the Torah, then anything else is not the Torah. Then they, then they would not be able to re refer to the oral law as Torah. Mm -hmm. So they utter things that, which were formulated in order to, 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 to express certain ideas and then develop dogmas that are totally contradictory to those ideas while retaining the same formula <laughs> or formulae. So I'm put off with that because it's not logical. It's not even hypocritical. It's idiotic. <laughs> but I, um, I assume that for people that enjoy uh, prayer, mm -hmm. it serves a different purpose, maybe not a logical one. But Yes, it, 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 it serves, certainly serves a purpose, otherwise I, they wouldn't go. But I think different people have got different pu purposes. 